Those of you that have mounted a few uh, free float forends onto your AR upper know that sometimes it can be a little difficult getting that uh, top rail aligned with the rail on the receiver side to side. That's important if you've got uh, sights on the rear receiver, uh, or I'm sorry, on the top receiver and sights on the front of your uh, uh, handguard here. So we've all done before where we've used the fixture and then clamped it into the vise and then laid a level across the top here and then laid a second level across the top of the, the uh, handguard here and rotated them back and forth until they're lined up. So it can be done, it gets done, uh, but it's kind of time consuming and a pain. So Brownells came out with a new cool tool, <laughs> a cool tool called a uh, uh, four rail handguard alignment tool. Now what this does, let me turn this over here, uh, you'll see that the front of this moves up and down so that it can line up even if the uh, four rail isn't exactly the same height as your uh, receiver rail and also if you're lining up the uh, uh, handguard rail with the uh, with a rail gas block which is down below the rail on that so that's a particularly difficult thing anyway it slides up and down they clamp on so let me show you how this works here I'm going to do it a little bit differently than normally I would do it so that I can show it to you on an assembled receiver but the uh, rear part goes in here and if we roll this over here, you can see the screws that you can tighten it with. And I'll slide that up. All right. And now we'll go ahead and we'll slide the uh, front piece on here. Put the screw in here. <clears throat> All right, now you can see that that still moves back and forth a little bit, but let me reverse this around here so you can see. When I tighten this up, Now there's no motion in this whatsoever. And being certain that we're tight here, roll this back over here and reverse it. You'll see that there is absolutely no motion in that uh, whatsoever. It is absolutely locked tight. So now uh, if you have the lower screws on here that clamp on, you can go ahead and clamp it on and do whatever you have to do. It's ready to go. Now you can do exactly the same thing uh, let me loosen this here. To get that railed gas block um, on here, the only difference is that let me get that out the rest of the way. Obviously, with the nut, you can't slide the whole thing front and rear. That's why I'm taking it apart here to do this. Okay. Now, if we were to take this and we were to mount it here, and we mount this part here, you can drop this down to whatever height the, the gas block is, lock it on there, and do the same thing, tighten your clamps, and you're ready to go. So it makes a very difficult job or at least a time-consuming job, uh, much quicker, uh, much easier. And uh, uh, for those of you that are worried about losing your hair, you won't lose it. And for those of us who just have gray hair, it won't get any grayer. So from Brownells, the uh, rail alignment tool, and I think you'll be really happy with this.